5 Tropical Updates Sound up. Okay, there we go. We are working. Um, da, 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 da. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The Hurricane Watch Team is here with your latest update on Tropical Storm Josephine and Invest 96L. Now, as you can see right here, Invest 96L is uh, right in this region right here, and it looks like it's moving in this direction right here, which, I mean, it's still going to bring swells to all these areas. Uh, off the east coast of the United States, Nova Scotia up here. Um, I cannot draw at all. I, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I am horrible at drawing or doing anything. But um, it's still going to bring swells to this part. You know, that's if it, you know, even if it goes this way, it's still, you know, you're still going to have swells along the coast, okay? And, and then down here we have Tropical Storm Josephine. Okay, uh, and again, it is it's going to kind of do something like this, and then it's going to kind of turn up like this, and it might turn up like this, and it might do something like this, which if that happens, technically, it's probably not going to happen unless I actually think about it, technically, I would have been still right, because I did say it was going to impact the United States, but it's probably going to do, what up, and we're dead, <laughs> it's probably something like that, let's be honest. Uh, but yeah, today I'll actually be using, believe it or not, I'll be actually using more Pivotal Weather, because I saw Pivotal Weather, and I'm like, oh my god, that is so interesting. Like, yesterday I saw it, and I was like, girl, we gotta look at this more, and oh my gosh, I have 60 subscribers. That is an amazing feeling. Oh, man. Back exile. Oh, lord, looks like I have to make you moderate. Oh, I'm kidding. Uh, Invest 96L. Okay, uh, you're back also. Uh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Just give me a second. Uh, Invest 96L has of 18 z Alright, one thing I do want to talk about. Yes, I'm here. God, okay. So one thing I kind of wanted to talk about, which I, I saw, you know, I saw uh, everything on uh, Pivotal Weather, and I was like, oh my god. I love it so much. I, we gotta use it more. And so, now we're using it. So, like, we'll get into this. So, if we take a look at Tropics, which I think is so cool, we can kind of, like, zoom in and stuff. Kind of take a look at this part, because this is kind of where... Okay, it's a lot farther to the north. Okay. Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, we, can, we have an idea. Okay. A center circulation is probably, like, right here. That's just sort of my guess. Now, if this is the center of circulation, let's say, okay, humidity is not too bad. Uh, this, you can kind of look at this, which this is a little bit cooler, it's a little bit more complicated. Half the stuff on this, I can't even really use. I wish you could, like, zoom in. But here, if you take a look at this, you can see okay, the humidity, and we're a little on the rough side, 87%. If you come over here in this region... And you find where one is, one is right here. Well, that's just under 40 knots. So we're talking nearly 45 mile an hour winds right now, if this is the truth. Now we're going to take a look at all the models. Okay, I have, an, I, I have a question. Should I use Pivotal Weather when I look at the models, or should I use Tropical Tidbits? Go in the chat and tell me below. Should I use Pivotal Weather to look at hurricane models, uh, regular models, I should say? Uh, and use Tropical Tidbits for the Hurricane Models. I don't know if these have Hurricane Models. Or should I uh, use both or whatever. I was actually thinking later in the future, if I actually, you know, understand Pivotal Weather and I understand all this other stuff that it comes with, I might actually use it and I might actually get an upgrade and I might actually be able to pay for some of it. Pivotal Weather? Alright, Pivotal Weather it is. Because, uh, I again, I saw this yesterday and I was like, Oh my god, that is so cool. Oh my god. And so now I'm like, I'm using it. So, you know. Uh, you should use Pivotal Weather and Tropical. Yeah, I'm still going to be using Tropical Tidbits, you know, for this, you know, for some of the models. But when we go into when, when we go into depth and we talk about the storm a little bit more, then we have all this other stuff. We got temperature and wind. So, like, okay, I actually don't know what this is. I have to actually understand 
understand this stuff. Now, again, this this is a sounding that y'all see right here. So this, you know, these are the analogs right here. This is, you know, this is for hail. This is for a supercell. Uh, now, if you're looking in the outer bands, those are going to change. So, like, if we would have... Okay, let's change this back to precipitation, I guess we should do. Uh, that's humidity. I'm not very smart. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, if you look at the, if we look at this, okay, I actually need something where I can radar reflectivity. So this is kind of radar, okay? If we look here. Actually, I can't actually tell where anything is. That kind of sucks. Hold up, guys. Oh, my God. I got a light. Let me just go back to the wind because I can't actually tell anything from anything. Here, if we take like, a look at the wind, you can see out here. I don't know what model I'm using right now. I'm using the GFS. We look out here, and we come down here. Um... One loose match, but that's loose. So, again, we do have humidity. Oh, okay. So, again, I'll be using this a little bit more so I have an understanding of everything that's going on on this page. So, am I understanding it more? Yes, I am. Is it difficult to understand? A little bit. Now, see, I want to use the... I wish I could use the ECMWF. Because that's the one... That has that that actually has the one that I was sounding for the subscriptions. I think that see if I do the six ninety nine a month. Uh, yeah, you see them clickable soundings for the United States soundings, soundings. So all the soundings would be really easy. And Go sixteen satellite would be available. Um, but then if I do this one, there's I don't know. I'm I'm not getting paid for this, so I don't know what I'm doing, but. I was thinking about, you know, maybe later in life I would get a hobbyist plan. And if I do this more commercially and I actually start making money, I may upgrade to the $18 a month. So, uh, I, <laughs> I just kind of want to put that out there because it's actually... I need to go models. Uh, I've been using the GFS. So this is just, you know, it's for free, as you can kind of see over here. Uh, this is surface and precipitation. We go continental United States, we go tropical, we move into this neck of the woods, and here we can kind of see, okay, to the north and to the west, uh, or to the north, to the east is where we're seeing that rain bands. Um, and, and this, you know, we can kind of use this, but we kind of mainly just want to take a look at the models, um, because this isn't really going to help us too much. Uh, I want to put this into motion, if I'm going to put this in the forecast loop, uh, and we're going to click play and take a look at what we got here. We're going to speed her up a little bit. Okay, that's a little too much. I actually need... Uh, tropical. That's just the United States. Hold up, guys. I got to... Oh, I'm, I'm so getting used to this. Oh, yeah, I don't like it sometimes. What's that like? See, it's too zoomed in. You know, okay. If, okay, let's just take a look at... Let's see what they're saying for uh, the storm. Okay. Why are there always... Freaking thing out here. What's the CFS? These have so many different models on them, you know? It's kind of like, oh, that's kind of cool. Good lord, 700! It's like 760 of them. 
chat, wake up. Oh, Lord. Okay, I need to take a look. Go to the United States. Fuck. Sorry, my bad. Okay, here. Okay, I'm going to put this into play because, good Lord, this goes out so far. Just have an idea of what we're taking a look at. We do see something there in the Gulf, uh, Caribbean right down here. I don't really do anything. But I'm just kind of watching low pressure systems across. Okay, we do get this storm. We'll have to see what, if that ever becomes anything. Going to closer depth and then we have something over here. What, what year? What day is this? September. Bro, this is September 15th. This is the, this is like, this is an entire month out from now. September 15th, 2020. That's like in the future for sure. It's 756 hours, dude. Literally, this is 700 and. This is literally 768 hours out from now. Uh. I've not even been looking at the chat. What have we got over here? Okay. Um. Uh, We'll look at ECMWF at high resolution, see what they're showing for here. Because I kind of really need an idea. Oh my god. The Southwest Atlantic, it's too zoomed in. No, 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 no. No sounding data. I hate that there's no sounding data for what I need. And I'm like, oh my god, you're going to kill me. It's fine. I'm trying to talk. Oh, I'm talking to them. Okay, hold on. Let me shut up. Okay, instead of Southwest Atlantic. Oh my god, you don't even have any options. I mean, you do. They just. Trying to see how strong they're expecting the storm to become. I mean, they're showing by this point, they're showing a well, good low. We're stopping 40, 50 miles an hour. Well, closing in on 48, 50 miles an hour winds. But how strong are these winds up here? My God, 60 knots. Holy, holy jeebus. Kind of going into the future, seeing what they are, what we have here. I'm also kind of looking at having an idea of everything that I'm looking at. What else do we need to look at? Okay, we got anomalies, we got surface, and we got moisture. What's, what do we got in terms of severe weather? Okay, shear would be something we would have to look at because that would be so, like, because I know for severe weather, in order for storms to develop, you have to have wind shear. So there's some wind shear, we got some wind shear up here, we got wind shear over here. Oh yeah, it's totally some severe weather over the Pacific for sure. And so I know that for severe weather you have to have shear. And so, okay, let's say I take a look at this. It just tells me how strong the shear is. Now, I know y'all probably don't want to hear me, you know, talking about this, but I'd have to look at the other things too. <laughs> Hurricane Kyle. And don't give 2020 ideas. 2020 has not been my year. Okay, that looked like 180 degrees, I'll be honest. I never thought it got so hot in California. Oh, it's right there. It's 60 degrees. Right there. Oh, my God. Okay. Why am I looking at temperature? Like, I need to look at... Alex, there's nothing else you can look at. Okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. Just give me a minute. I'll get there. I'm trying to understand everything right now. Okay, we get to look at the wind. 
They're joking. Shiny be looking at the most recent one. So again, they are talking about wins, talking nearly. Here, I need to take a look at the. If you take a look at Tropical, Northwest Atlantic. And here, again, I do want to point out that is a tropical storm. 34 knots right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is a tropical storm for us. Now, you can kind of see the center circulation is roughly about right here in this region. So, taking a look right here. Now, noticing the humidity is not amazing. I mean, it's 82%. I need to make this light. I literally can't even underline something that's so small, but I kind of want to give an idea. Like, hey, we got 80, we got, you know, okay humidity for a storm. No matches, blah, blah, blah. I See, what I need to understand is the shear. Now, I don't understand how to specify and understand this wind shear, but I need to know how fucking strong this wind shear is. Oh, 925, that's right. Jesus Christ, Alex, what are you doing? 850. There we go. Okay, so... Oh, well, Jesus, it's even stronger. Oh, shit. Okay. So we got 36 knots, so this is definitely Tropical Storm. It's got Tropical Storm Force winds. Okay. I need to... Ah, oh, man, this is not hard. Okay. I'm looking at all this stuff down here. Can these ass like go away? Like I don't fucking care. Like oh my god. This is gonna take me a while because I see 163 slash 16, 333 slash. So okay, we take a look at here. You can kind of see. I I can kind of zoom into this. I kind of need to zoom in. Scroll down, kind of get this in picture. So here, here's one right here. Okay, that's where one is. I want to get that an idea of everyone. <laughs> Winds here in the center circuit. This is the center circulation. Okay. Now if we move over here and we scroll down and we take a look at this box down here, we can clearly see that the humidity. Okay. The Humidity, not too bad. Why is it doing that? What the fuck? Okay, the, the cape is 213, so that's not bad. So, kind of what I want to give an idea of is the humidity. It's not bad. 82%, 88%, that's actually pretty good in terms of humidity, when we're talking about humidity, that's great, okay? Now, this, I have to understand, where is the shear? Which one am I looking at? Now, this is inflow, saying two not one shear. Can we ask the chat, how do I check the wind shear intensity? Because that's what I need to know. I don't know what this means on here. I probably have to take a whole class on understanding this. Okay, now, that is something I'm going to have to understand. Which, fudge. Can you see that? That's great. Now, this, this is talking about tornadic activity. All right, this is talking about tornado. Like, So this is tornadic stuff, which I don't understand because this is the shear. This box is going to tell me the wind shear. I mean, it literally says shear right here. This is the box. Gosh, dang it. 
This is the box that I need to look at. Okay, this is going to tell me the wind shear. Okay, this is shear. These have numbers. Now this, I don't know what this means. This is inflow. This is all this other stuff in here. I don't, like, I don't understand that. And so, I'm, it's going to take me some time. But if anyone knows how to read this, uh, please tell me. That's sort of what I need. So, if anyone knows how to read it, let me know. Now, I do know in terms of no critical angle. I don't know in terms of critical angle what that what that means. The storm slinky. I don't know what that means either. I'm like, oh, okay, I do not know. I can show the map. <gasps> can you believe this? Well, that's cool. That just tells you the location of the stone that you're talking about. So what if we want one right here? That's crazy, dude. So again, this will tell you the wind and in the wind intensity of the storm. See here, we got about 36 knots right here. Now, now I want y'all to know the higher up in the atmosphere we go. Well, I thought the high winds would become stronger. At that point, we don't have any wind, and at 300, that storm doesn't even exist. At 200, there's no sign of a storm existing in this area versus from the 900 millibar area. So we need to be always looking at an 850 millibar for vorticity area. That's cool. So, At this point, I don't even know what to talk about just because I'm, like, nervous because I don't know how to read this. And I feel stupid because I feel like I should be able to know how to read this because I feel stupid. <sighs> okay, now this. At 850 millibar vorticity, they're showing much intense winds. Now we're talking, now the center circulation is probably right here. I don't actually know specifically. Here we have humidity 90% right now according to this one model. 90% humidity, 90% mid low level humidity. Uh, humidity is precipitation rate, rate with a W. <laughs> 2.47 inches. Okay, that's the amount of rain that's falling. I, is that is this PW? Is that what does PW mean? Weather. I'm looking for cool looking weather. Okay, 61 subscribers. My uh, my my peeps are coming back. I love it, love it, love it, love it. That's great, that's great, that's great. So does anyone know what PW stands for? Is that like precipitation? Anyone knows what that means? Um, let me know. If, is that how much rain is falling an hour? Because if we're talking 2.47 inches of rain an hour. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Do whatever you can. Do whatever you possibly can to try to help support me. I'm just trying to get by, trying to get by back to where I was, uh, where I was at. But, um, I don't know, but this wind over here looks disturbingly strong. No, oh my god. I need to show this actually getting really... Why is... Oh, fuck it. So here we're seeing 50 knot winds. More like, is that just, what do you mean like rain? Is it like, like is that like precipitation rate? Over how long of a period of time? Like, is that per hour? Because, I mean, if that's per hour, and we're talking... If we're talking 
two inches of rain per I can't even draw. I can't even, I can't even, like, oh my god, I can't even speak, like, very small is what I need. I'll give you, I'll give you a second. Uh, so, humidity in that area is a little bit lower, however, if we go, again, now these are different models that I'm looking at, because I need to take a look at every single model. Now, I want to go to current timestamp, which, again, which, again, as you can see right here, we are seeing relatively low wind speeds. I think the lower the wind speed, the more, I think the, the, the center circulation is right there. Cause I need to understand, cause I need to know, cause this right here says let's go to another model. This is the GDPS, the UK Met model. Man, I wish I had sounding for everything, but again, they're showing here. Currently, they're showing they're they're showing winds. I wish I could change this to miles per hour. You can log in. I can't log in. Yo, I should make an account. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. My god. Okay. Girl, why are you panicking? Can't say that. Why are you panicking? Mother of gosh. That's almost hurricane force right there, ladies. Oh. But yeah, guys, I just kind of want to... Oh, look at that. 41 knots. More than 45 miles per hour. Don't panic, people. It's going to be okay. I don't know what you're panicking about. This is regional. This is convex, convection allowing. This is a CMC ensemble. This is fun. I'll be honest. Look at the weather. It's fun. So much fun. Here's what to say. 35 knots. Basically, that's a tropical storm right there. Like, like all the models right now that I'm seeing are showing this to become a tropical storm. Now, or they're showing it becoming a tropical storm. Now, I'm curious, what does Wendy say? Wendy probably says it's like 30 miles an hour, so. Hurricanes are fun, and I'm like, da da da. But I love this. Okay, let's go to wind gusts. Wind gusts are probably more accurate. <laughs> wind gusts are probably more accurate to the actual wind speed, let's be honest. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, got winds at 40 miles an hour. Oh. Why has everyone, like, left? Like, that's my question. But that's just kind of what, something I wanted to talk about. Going through all these models now. And then, we can. I can check for sounding. Woo. Why are they like... I, what in the world is this mean? Hundred percent humidity. Oh, that's what I like to see. A hundred percent right there. Okay. Guys, this is hard to understand. I need I need help, guys. If anyone knows how to read this. Please help me. But yeah, if you know how to read this map, or know how to read that, 
if you don't mind if you just go into the chat and try to help me, because I kind of have to, because, like, wh like, what is all this stuff on the side mean? I can actually, like... Like, what does all that mean? Okay, I mean, I understand, like, literally, relative humidity, we got this. I understand this. It literally says, go to one, 30 knots, between that, about 35 knots right there. I've searched it up on Google, and it's so complicated. I, I've got to I gotta do more researching, for sure. But I was just saying, if anyone knows how to read this, and, like, off the bat, then just let me know and oh, help me. Which I can actually... You can change the model as well. Shit, dude. I literally have to have the computer so close to me, so I can actually, like, I'm, like, so close to it, it's, I'm, it's not even funny, I, I look stupid. It's, it's so close to me, I look stupid. So, here's what we're gonna have to do. Okay, I'm gonna come up here, continental the United States, so, oh, gosh, no, is it? No. So, I know, right? Um, wind box. I had to play around with this quite some. So, what does this mean? 2 meter AGL temperature and wind box. I definitely see the wind box, that's for sure. But, like, I can... See, I can have radar... See, what I wish is, I wish I could just click on the North Atlantic, like, you know, I wish I could just see the North Atlantic, but, oh, it's just not how things work these days. Yeah, I know, that's what I hate, is like, you know, I can't even see the whole Atlantic, so I literally, after, if I'm watching a system, so let's say, I'm watching this area of low pressure right here, which, this area of low pressure right now, if it becomes something, we'll see. We're watching it, okay. We actually do see another system coming off the coast right there. No. No, let's see, let's see. Oh my god. I got one comment. Now, one thing I do want to say is... Now, this is a very cool website for sure. No, no, oh my god. Uh. Now, I know this is Kate. This shit is so interesting. <gasps> I think the higher the cape number, the, the the more like, oh my god, look at this. Oh, dude. Dude, look at this down here, dude. It's a 5,000, dude. Okay, cape? Okay. Definition of cape. As a noun, it means a sleeveless cloak. To pick a short one. Okay, now I feel stupid asking Siri that. Okay, I gotta actually look up what Kate means.
Convective available potential energy, the amount of fuel available to for developing thunderstorm. More specifically, it describes the instability of an atmosphere. Okay. So basically, the atmosphere over California is so stable that it's gone to the negative. Is that even possible? Like, dude, I've never even heard of that before. So here over Houston, it's not here over Galveston, so okay. Continental United States. Now we're going to go Gulf of Mexico. And we take a look at Cape. I can't even look at severe weather. Okay, let's actually take a look at the GFS, because I feel like the... Okay, so that's... Okay, so the higher the number, the more the likelier the chance is going to be for a storm to develop. God, I feel like an idiot for some reason. Oh, man. South Central United States. Okay. And we come down here to severe weather. <gasps> Yo. What the? Okay, now I don't even know which one to look at. Super so composite? Die. Sorry. There's like a cap? I know that's a thing. I don't know what cap means. I forgot. Cap is like, oh, cap is so complicated. It's like, funny. <laughs> Most unstable cape. Oh, Lord. So that means thunderstorms could develop down here, south of, you know, Texas. So cape is something. So, okay. So, okay, let me take a look. Okay, I'm like geeking out right now. Oh my god. So, I, I want to look at the whole Atlantic. It's so frustrating. So, if we take a look, we bring you back. Dude, I don't even know. What the heck is this? Dude, what does this even mean? Oh my god. Cape is the amount of energy. Available for a thunderstorm to develop. Basically, it's how unstable the atmosphere is. Okay, so let me take a look at K. Surface space K. So if we take a look, if we go... If we take a look at the United States. We know the K here is crazy. Look at the... So we can actually look at the future in terms of what Cape does. And I do see Cape becoming not bad. Um, if we can take a look at... Yeah, this will probably be great. Okay, that's way too local, my guy. That's a whole city. That's the only place in the whole place. So this seems to be very powerful in terms of Cape. You see that? That's 4,000. So, now, I would assume, correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, I would assume this region of the United States, the Midwest, would be able to produce a very powerful thunderstorm uh, through uh, Minnesota. Take a look at this. This should tell us the probability of a tornado. This is a classic supercell in this corner. Okay, why am I talking about severe weather on a hurricane channel? So, okay, this tells us down here there is a 50% chance of a tornado, four loose matches, 118 loose matches. Uh, a 64% of significant hail. Is that what that means? Because it says right here. Down here. That there is a 50% chance. And right here it says there is a 64% chance. 
So, does that mean there's a 64% chance of significant hail? Now, I would assume... Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't really know. These are the... Now, I would assume... I'm not sure. I'm not 100% on sure. But, correct me if I am wrong. Is this the inches... The diameter of the hail. And then this is like, okay, I don't know what this means, like the dot elk xn. Now, I don't know if that's the region. Um, there is so much for me to talk about. <laughs> um, but. Because <sighs> this isn't too easy now. Cape. If you look at the cape right here. SF's the cape of 5,000. This is cape through here. This is this through here. Like that. It's kind of like a chart like this. I don't know why I'm explaining what a chart looks like. That tells you how... So, there's a 50% chance of a tornado and a 64% chance of significant hail. I think that's what they're talking about. Now, this says e e effective layer STP with CIN. Based on K.2.19, this might actually be a possibility that an EF2 uh, could produce an uh, EF2 tornado. This has been saying hurricane so long, I forgot what tornado was. Now, now, I don't know, but if I look down here, I will. I just kind of want to have an idea of what I'm looking at. Oh, cape of 5,000, dude. Look at that. Like, God, that is just abnormally catastrophic. Dang it. Continental United States. Here. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. God, look at the cape over here. It's 1,300. It's... I don't know, but I know this is London right here. I, I just know that. I don't know how I know that, but I know exactly where London is. In the United Kingdom. Uh, one more view in my weather videos. Congratulations, congratulations. Okay, let's take a look at temperature. Oh, you're from... Wait. Hold up, hold up. You're not from England. I do have a viewer that was from England, but I think he left me. Well, no, he didn't mean to, but... This is Germany. Uh, uh, give me a minute. I need to... See where, where Lithuania is in comparison to Germany. Okay, I know this is like Germany... Oh, uh, Lithuania is like... Is this Lithuania up here? Hold up. No, wait. Maybe I need to use... CFS? Dude, I can't... It's too zoomed in! Oh my goodness! It's like, oh my gosh! Bro, oh my gosh, dude. Oh, you're up. There we go. I apologize about that. I was not being very smart. I was like... So, Lithuania. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, 
Okay, um, this uh, Lithuania is above. So it's. Is this France? Lithuania should be right here. Am I right? Is that Lithuania? God, I hope it is. Let's see what the chat says. Let's see if I got Lithuania correct. Is that Lithuania? Let me know. Tell me in the chat below. If that is Lithuania. I think I can just zoom into that region. I think, right? Okay, so that's Lithuania. I don't know what part of Lithuania, but... Actually, wait. What if I... And then I can move here. And be like... So, you said, you need to know what it's like in Lithuania. So, we got, we got a few states in here, or, ter or pro I mean, I mean, not states. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we got like ten territories of Lithuania. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, uh, first of all, let's not use GDPS, because I don't know what it's, what they're doing, but let's just use GFS. Okay. So, we're going to take a look at uh, temperature. Temperature. Now I lost what Lithuania was. God damn it. Fuck. I'm <laughs> sorry. These lines aren't hard, as, aren't hard, aren't easy to see. But here's what it's looking like. We're seeing temperatures as hot. Oh my god. Yo, that is hot. That is boiling. 42 degrees, my guy. My guy. Oh, 43 freaking degrees, my guy. Why is it so hot in that's Africa? What do you expect out of it? Okay, so here's Lithuania, um, right here. Ah, uh, yeah, right here. Maybe it's just like right that. Just. There's Lithuania, ladies and gentlemen. That's the, the country I'm looking at and watching and staring at. Uh, I see Africa as a foreign country. Oh, I wish I could actually look at more of Africa. Wait, no, can I? Hold up. Yo, I can, dude. Let's go. Jeez, 45 degrees. So if I see... If I, oh, 46 degrees. Why am I looking at this? I'll be honest. Yo, what if I find 100 degrees? <laughs> be like, um... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh god, that looks so hot right there. Oh. oh god, this looks so hot. 48 degrees, my guy! That should not be possible. That should not be legally po That should not be... No, what the fuck? There's no way that's possible. Okay, 33... Guys, I have a problem. I think there's a, an ocean problem. There's ocean's like 36 degrees. Um, like I didn't see this, now this just looks like 50 degrees right here. There's this one ocean right here. I, I can't actually zoom into it, but it is like. Look at these. Like, look at these temperatures, guys. What if these are 
Yo, that looks deadly, dude. 49 degrees. There. Holy shit, look at that. God. 50 degrees. What is that? 50 degrees centigrade to Fahrenheit? It's 120 oh, that's degrees right. Fahrenheit. Sorry, I forgot my conversion. I thought it was like 180 or something. I don't know. I forgot what 50 degrees was for a second. That's right. Now I remember. It's time to look at Eastern Russia, guys. Yo, wait. What if we could look at Antarctica, bro? Freaking like 80 degrees. Imagine 80 degrees below zero. Oh my god, that'd be crazy. Australia gets effing hot. Sorry for my cussing, but it's so true, guys. Oh my god. Australia. We're talking freezing, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these temperatures, guys. Look at that. That's 5 degrees below zero. That's cold. It's cold for me, anyway. Bro, it's like, um, yeah, guys, it's, um, it's currently winter time here in Australia, and, uh, it's currently 37 degrees there. It's like, what is going on? 30 views, congratulations, my guy. Why does it get so hot? It's winter time in Australia. Dude, look at that. Oh, I should take a look at winter weather. Oh my god. Okay. Tell me the snowfall. What? Okay, I knew that. <laughs> Yo, I see snow up here. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh shit. Eight centimeters. That's not bad. It's like an inch. Ten centimeters is like an inch, right? I don't know. I'm not going to Yo. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at it. Look. At eight, 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 16 centimeters. One thing I just want to point out is look at how much snow that is. It's like a shit ton load of snow, I feel like. Oh shit. You go Sydney, I'm doing. It's actually pretty far north. Six centimeters of snow? My guy, you're doing great. I'll be here till the end of the channel. Um, I don't think you're gonna want to be here till the end of the channel. I think you're, people are gonna want me dead, dead by that time. Let's take a look at South America. How much snow are we talking? Oh my God, that is cool. Imagine what? Imagine 37 inches of snow. Just, just in general, I want to know the depth of snow of all time. That's one hell of a lot of snow. Take a look at severe weather. Precipitation tight and rape. Okay, so here. Now correct me if I'm wrong, the 540 line I heard is the freezing level. So it should be about 30, it should be about 0 degrees at that altitude, at that level. Doesn't tell me the temperature. Wait, down T, is that temperature? Um. It does not tell me the temperature. It does not. <laughs> I, I kind of feel dumb now. Really dumb. I thought it would tell me the temperature somewhere. Oh, it's okay. It's 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Shit, I feel like what red means. Oh, no, that's not good. That is really good. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Is that good for you? I don't know. Now, if I come down here, this will actually tell us the amount of... Good lord. 1,042 millibars? I don't see. That's some high pressure there, my guy.
I don't know, but I do know I live in North America. We should still see the snow in the Northern Hemisphere. I'm not just sounding really stupid, I'm sorry. No, we should take a look at the temperature. Okay, hold up. There's no... Bruh, that's just so dumb. Oh, my God. Sorry. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, hold up. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. North America. You can still see what it's like in here. Wait. What? 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 Wait. <laughs> precipitable water. Let's take a look at precipitable water. So, if I'm correct, precipitable water is basically moisture? No moisture. Okay. Now, I do want to take a look here in terms of moisture. Let's take a look at what the moisture be looking like. So that means up here, there's much less moisture. That is a lot of moisture in the Sahara Desert. Like, good lord, 1.37.73 inches. That is just like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. What does L mean? What this, it literally just says L right here. I'll stop. <laughs> LC, I know LLC is low level center circulation. Low level circulation. LLCC is low level center of circulation. I would assume. So, East that line. No, no, no. Right. You can zoom in. So gosh darn close, it's not even funny. Bro, those aren't two different islands. Literally, look at this. You can literally show Haiti. And the Dominican Republic is two islands. We got Puerto Rico here. Apparently these islands here, they don't exist. And then, I don't know what this island is. Now, I know this is Jamaica. And here's the Bahamas. And, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. This will tell us how much moisture. I don't, guys, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> guys, clear the storms. I don't really have anything else to talk about. I'm kind of exhausted, I'm kind of tired, I don't even know how long I've been streaming, but I can guarantee you, now that we have pivotal weather, well, my streams are going to be thousands of times more interesting now than they uh, were in the past, so, um, yeah guys, I don't really have anything else to talk about or to even say, I've been streaming for an hour and I'm not even joking, so, uh, guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will talk to everybody soon enough. Uh, I will be definitely looking into and uh, understanding everything in terms of what we uh, what we have here. So um, I'm just going to move on and take a look at the West Atlantic. And uh, yeah, there's that storm bringing in inches of rain. There we go. At one point, talking more than nearly three inches of rain, ladies and gentlemen. So again. I don't want to bring up the, uh... So, guys, that's me for today, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, peace out, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. We're talking winds as high as 40 knots. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, peace out.